be handled discreetly. No unnecessary mess. Tell me who you need, what you need. No, I'll take care of it myself. I don't need to tell you what these plans are worth. The Saudis want them, the Air Force wants them back. They can't have them. I'll see to that. You know the procedure for transfer. Use extreme caution. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Good. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Good. In through the nose and out through the mouth. You don't look like you're doing too well. Oh, uh, well, I am nine months pregnant. How about giving her a little more support right back here, partner? There. How does that feel? Fine. Claudia, I think she was talking to me. David called me. Think you should be talking to him? Well, he is the father of my children. Yeah, how would you know? Well, there's never been anyone else. That's not what I meant. I meant David does not behave like a father or a husband. What kind of man would abandon a pregnant wife? An ambitious actor? Ugh. This is right up Sam's alley. He's in his grotesque period. Well, let me get it for him. Oh, come on. Even a starving painter has to buy a toy every once in a while. Lend me a five. Oh, he sounds as though he wants to come back and really try. Mrs. Sam and me. Did he actually say that with those his exact words? No, but you no, know, he misses I mean, having a live-in slave. You just don't like David. You never have. No, yeah, and that's not instinct. That's common sense. Never mind. So when are you going to see him? Today. Uh, I'm going to drop some drawings off the publisher, and then I'm going to meet him for lunch. If you could pick up Sam from school. Oh. OK, OK, no problem. So we'll see you back at my place later, OK? I love you, Claudia. Just make sure David pays. OK, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Opposed to leaving a note in the mailbox? I didn't want to be cruel. Oh! I see. Well, fine. You think telling me face to face that you've fallen in love with someone else 
is some kind of noble gesture, and that treating me to lunch would take care of any bad feelings I might have. You were planning on taking me to lunch, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Kathy, don't be sarcastic. Well, you're no longer in a position to tell me how to behave, Mr. Smooth. You got a voiceover in a national commercial. Your first move is to take up with some bimbo. She's not a bimbo. Well, I don't want to hear about her. Thanks all the same. Kathy, you know as well as I do that things have not been working between us, not for a long time. Because you aren't working. And now that you get a little spending money, you decide to leave. I am not leaving you because I got a job and I don't need you anymore. I, I, I'm, I am leaving you, period. What about Sam? Remember him? The kid who lives in what used to be your home? And what about this one? The one in here? <laughs> the baby was a mistake. A mistake? You think you can dismiss it just like that? Happy, calm down. You want me to be calm? <laughs> you tell me you plan to abandon me and your children you want me to sit here and swallow that without making a sound? Well, I won't. I'm angry. You disgust me. You are a vain, cold, pompous, uncaring, selfish son of a bitch. Kathy, quit being so dramatic. Dramatic. That's not dramatic. This is dramatic. <laughs> I'm your man, all right. Not another one like me in the world, but you know that, I suppose, don't you? Okay. This shouldn't take too long. All right, here we go. I'm sure that you want the sharpest possible reproduction with a job like this, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is reduce your data. Okay, now, if you look, you'll see it up in the right-hand corner. All right, it's like, and there it is. Okay, I'm going to bring it down in successive quadrants and on a diagonal, cross and down. Okay, now, okay, this little square is the key to the whole thing. You think this is easy, huh? This is hypercritical work, museum quality, and I'm not kidding. Okay. Let's see what we got. Claudia, please. This is not funny. He was furious. He probably won't ever speak to me again. He'll be back. Not this time. He got a job. Thanks. Now I can look forward to seeing him on television instead of across the breakfast table. Mom! Sam, Mommy's trying to talk. Could we have a kitty, too? Sam? Okay, okay. You're a lot better off without David. You know that, don't you? Oh, sure. So what are you going to do? Who knows? Shopping with Sam. They're having a special on Spider-Man PJs. Not what I meant. And then I'm going to crawl under the covers and cry. Oh, Kathy. Look. I've got my work. And a kid and a half to look after. There's nothing new in that. Right. I mean, I've been doing it alone for five months now, haven't I? Everything's the same, really. It just feels different. Life goes on, doesn't it? Okay. Ah, oh, my valuable items. One of a kind. You know, I know someone who'd pay a lot of money to add this to their collection.
Change of plans, pal. Not on purpose, I think. And then he ran into the store. But can you identify him if you saw him again? No, I don't think so. Not, not for sure, no. Can I get you a doctor? No, I'm okay. I didn't hurt myself. You sure? Yes, really. We're fine. Are we, Sam? Yeah. Well, thank you, officer. Okay. Yes? It's going to be a slight delay in delivery. Don't worry about it. I'll call you sometime tomorrow. I'll give it a thought. Child's play. Mommy? What is it, sweetheart? Ta-da! Well, they're wonderful, honey. Can we go through the funders again tomorrow? No, Sam. You go to sleep now. I'll wake you up with kisses. to get my tuxedo. You what? You think you can use this as a storage place? Just waltz in here, help yourself to whatever you need? Well, I'll tell you what, David. Take it all. Oh. Hmm? Take everything right now. Kathy, I can't. I, uh, Kathy, I cannot take my things now. I've got people waiting for me at the restaurant. Mommy, is that Daddy? <sighs> Just a second, honey. He heard you. At least go in and say goodnight to him. Oh, gee, I really would like to, but I got a cab waiting down get there. Out. Get, get, get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. You tell me at lunch that my unborn child was a mistake and then you won't even take the time to go in and say goodnight to your son. What did Sam do last night when he wanted a goodnight kiss from you? And what about tomorrow night? You are just an egomaniacal swine and I want you out of my life! Yeah? Good. Did you do your drawing? Oh, no. <laughs> How are we going? <laughs> this 
surprise. Why is it always Stargate? Why can't you try something else? I want Stargate. Oh, come on, Kathy, let him. Then we can have the prizes from the other games all to ourselves. Okay, I'll come with you guys. <laughs> Your impulses are charitable and you help people, but you are afraid they will deceive you. Happiness is an elusive thing. You will get out of life exactly what you put in. This woman should be charging 75 bucks an hour. Now can I play Stargate? Come on. Come on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! A tidal wave of new experiences is fast coming your way. Don't be swept away by them. See to it that others do not take advantage of your good nature. And don't any of these things have something to say about our sex lives? Are you sure you want to hear it? <laughs> Oh, love tester. Hold on to this. Right. This is going to be major. He was looking at you. I'm looking at the poor fish here. Get real. He saw me watching and he got embarrassed. It was definitely you. No way. What do you think? Men don't make passes at pregnant women? At the it. moment, I don't think anyone makes passes at pregnant women. Especially their husbands. Daddy, listen to me. You're just as sexy as you ever were. More even. you just a little bit more fatter, clumsier. Just a little bit more bulky, that's all. Hey, time to go. Come Mommy, on. Mommy, I want to play. I want to play. I want to play. Watch yourself, Sam. Be careful now. You sure you don't want to come over for dinner? No, really. Thanks okay. A lot. All right, okay. I'll call you later. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. All right. Bye. Whoa. 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 Bye, Sam. Bye. See you later. in the backs of your hands. They're not important. Okay, everybody out of the pool. Stand up, you filthy little beast. I'm not a filthy little beast. I'm a mean little beast. <laughs> Ooh, pig in a blanket. Yeah? Sorry. Wrong apartment. It's all rusted out. You'll need a new valve.
sleep well. What are you gonna dream about? Frogs. Help you? Yes. I have a note here from Mrs. Proctor to pick up her son. I'm sorry, I can't authorize an early dismissal without checking the book. I understand. That is the rule. Come with me, I'll show you where. Didn't you hear me? Come with me. Now we'll check the early dismissal list. Oh, wait a minute. I have Sam going home with Tony this afternoon. They have a play date. Mrs. Proctor is too vague. I'll have to call her. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. I'll have this all sorted out in just a minute. Mrs. Proctor, this is Mrs. Feeney. I have a gentleman here, a Mr. Uh... All right, let's just see if we can sort things out a little. Bit. Sort things out? I think we ought to do a little more than that. I want to know what some stranger wants with my... So do we. So why don't we just calm down? Well, that's easy for you to say. Your child wasn't almost kidnapped. The man as Mrs... Feeney. Mrs. Feeney describes him as no one familiar to you, correct? No, I wish I could say I knew a whole bunch of tall, good-looking men in their 40s with light hair and a mustache, but I don't. Look, I'm going to have to ask you some questions that might make you feel a little uncomfortable, but I don't have any choice. Fire away. I have absolutely nothing to hide. You're a wealthy person? <laughs> By that, I mean, is there any reason for someone to try and kidnap Sam to blackmail you to collect a ransom? No. It may be difficult, but this is no time to hold back information to keep anything from me. I will respect your confidence. Is it possible that this thing is drug-related? Sam is clean. I'm sure of it. Christmas. And I gave up drugs when I got pregnant. Can I talk with Sam now? I promise you won't scare him. I promise. I just want to ask a question or two. Sam? Is there anything else that happened at school today that you haven't told us about? Well... Yes? yes. A caterpillar weed on my finger. Are you a real policeman? You bet. Do you want to be a policeman someday? No. No, you don't look like a policeman. Why not? Where's your police costume? Well, I have a badge. You there? How old are you? Sam, don't be rude. That's okay. How old are you? I asked you first. I'm 73 and a half. And I'm almost five. You still don't look like a policeman. Mommy, can I watch TV now? Wouldn't you rather draw with crayons? Wheel of Fortune? Oh, all right. Sam has a point, you know. You don't look like a detective. You were probably hoping for something more along the lines of Peter Falk or Humphrey Bogart. I didn't say that. Some leathery, battle-scarred guy with a trench coat and a rumpled fedora. Where's Mr. Proctor? He's away, on location. Oh, he's an actor. You didn't go to detective school for nothing, did you? 
Will he be back soon? I mean, does he know about all this? Um, he's a little difficult to reach right now. I'm sort of waiting for him to call me. Do you work? Yes. Here? At home? I, I write children's books. Oh. Do you do words or pictures of both? Both. Do you feel that the critical tenets of adult literature apply to children's books as well? I mean, do they share an aesthetic? I would love to have a prolonged literary discussion with you, Detective Braden, but somebody has tried to kidnap my son, and I'm I was just trying to get the proverbial feel of the situation, like they taught me at police school. Oh. I mean, do you compose in longhand, or do you just create straight into the typewriter? Let's smack into the typewriter. See for yourself. publisher gave it to me. I'm impressed. Don't be. I asked for it instead of an advance on my next book. It's a real time saver. What does it do exactly? Well, you can buy the Jackie Collins software and I'll write you a bestseller. Really? Yeah. That's the good news. The bad news is it costs five million dollars to buy the program. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, they say it has a computerized memory, but I know better. Magic remembers everything I type. Can I try it? Sure. Careful. <laughs> oh, do this. And then this. All right. Look, I wish there was something more that I could... I wish, I wish there was something more we could do, but there isn't. Nothing's happened. I mean, there was no actual crime that was Somebody committed here. Somebody tried to kidnap my son. Uh, look, if you could think of anything at all that might make sense, you should call me. Okay. I don't care what time it is. Let's pick up the phone. Bye. Oh, goodbye. Oh, uh, thanks very much for the stuff. Oh. Goodbye. What's wrong, sweetie? Are you thinking about... Are you worrying about anything? Yes. Tell me, sweetie. These bananas are mushy. I want them sliced. You always like them mashed. I put cream and honey in them. You always like them mashed. I want them sliced. Well, Why didn't you say so? You didn't ask. banana. I fed it to the cat. Cats don't like banana, Mom. I know. I had to force him. Bananas aren't good for kitties. I know that now. He threw up. Where? In your bed. In my bed? Yes. But we don't have a cat. Right! I knew there was something wrong. We better get you one. <laughs> I want you to do something for Not me. Much to you my don't hand. have to. I want to talk to you about something very important. Sam, Sam, if anybody you don't know wants to take you somewhere, you don't go. Ever. Unless mommy says it's okay. Not ever. Not even for candy or video games. What about Claudia? Claudia's okay. We know Claudia. What about Big Bird? Sam, Sam. This isn't funny. Okay. Okay. We'll put on your new jammies and we'll read Winnie the Pooh. Yay! Hello? Hi, it's me. Oh, 
David, thank God you called. I didn't know how to get a hold of you. Such incredible things have been happening. Sam and I were almost witnesses to a murder, and then somebody tried to kidnap him. Kathy, Kathy, you remember right after we were uh, separated, Sam got a cold. And you tricked me into coming over there because you said that he had pneumonia. He was running a fever. Not by the time I got there. It's just not going to work this time, Kathy. You mean you don't care? Even though someone tried to kidnap Sam? I just called to tell you that I'm coming over tonight to pick up my things. Now what do you want? You want me to pack for you? Hello? Who is this? Is anyone there? David, if that's you, it isn't funny. Okay. Who wants to watch TV at Claudia's tonight? Can we take him too? Sure. We could use the protection. I just didn't want to be there when he came over, that's all. Look, Daddy! I needed this. He may be an ignoramus, but he is a hunk ignoramus. Claudia, knock it off. What's an ignoramus? It's a Peruvian religious cult. Oh. <laughs> so, Kathy, when you see him, does it make you want to kill him? No, it makes me want his toiletries out of my medicine chest. Oh, it would have been a lot simpler if you just changed the lock. No, that's better this way. I don't want any trace of him in the apartment. Yeah, well, as long as he doesn't take your stuff, too. He wouldn't. Nothing would fit him. <laughs> Kathy! he does I am but I can't go home not yet I just couldn't handle another confrontation with David and the thing with Sam I'm a little scared sleep here come on we'll have a pajama party Leaving Sam at school today is the right thing. With Mrs. Feeney at the ready. <laughs> Sam couldn't be in better hands if he were with the National Guard. See you later. I need to speak to Richard. Uh, Richard, um, damn, I, I don't even remember his last name. He's a detective. Uh, my name is uh, Proctor, Kathy Proctor. Yes, of course I'll hold on. Yes, uh, Richard. Uh, oh, yeah, Detective Braden. Right, th this is Kathy, uh, Mrs. Proctor. I'm at my apartment and uh, somebody's broken in. Everything is a mess. No, uh, no, as a matter of fact, I haven't touched a thing. He's been dead for at least 12 hours.
Well, Kathy, the others will be here in a couple of minutes. So if there's anything else that you think you should tell me, now would be a really good time. Like what? Like what was your husband doing here? I thought he was away. And why weren't you and Sam here? He left me. Why didn't you tell me this before? I didn't feel like it. You what? It was personal. I am a police officer, Kathy. You owe it to me to tell me. I am things. telling you. Don't get mad at me. You're telling me now. Well, that's the best I can do. Okay, go on. David, my husband, sort of, came here to pack his things and I was keeping Sam out of the way and myself as well. Let me get this straight. He walks out on you. You don't have to put it quite that way. I'm sorry. He separated himself from you. He comes back to collect his gear. You and Sam have removed yourselves for the night. You come back in the morning to find him. Murdered? Yeah. Yes. Where's Sam right now? At school. For another hour. It's okay. Relax. Only us, the good guys. I'm gonna make sure that you have 24-hour police protection from now on. Great. What do you like for breakfast? <sighs> no, it won't be me. They usually have a woman detective in this type of a situation. You still be on the case? Sure, this and 20 others. But I really plan to stay on top of this one. I promise. So you and your son spent the night with a friend. Why? It was late. Sam was asleep. I just thought it was better to stay over than to wake him up. Your husband's been away from home? Well, yes, sort of. Why? He's been away. Staying somewhere else. Where? I'm not sure. He didn't live here? No. He didn't. I've got to go pick up Sam at school, if you'll excuse me. You and Sam to come to my place and stay with me for a while. This is Detective Braden. Hi, Richard Braden. You must be Kathy's best friend, Claudia, who put her and Sam up at your house last night. She already knows that. I think what he's doing is checking your alibi, Kath. No, I thought you liked me. I do. I want to help you. That's why I'm going with you to the station house. But I just talked to the police. They have a few more questions to ask. But I can't. I have to pick up Sam at school. I'll get him. I'll bring him back to my place. We already have a detective waiting at the school. She'll make sure that Sam and Claudia get home safely, OK? Let's go. Oh, yes. They fought like cats and dogs. I actually heard her say it. You swine. I want you out of my life. And he was such a gentleman, such a lovely looking man. Look, I really don't see why I have to go through all this again with the police. Kathy, believe me, it's just routine. Look, I don't think you murdered... I don't think you had anything to do with this. I just want to make sure nobody else thinks you That's did. That's ridiculous. Why would I? Because he earned it, as far as I can make up. And he didn't hear that from me. You never liked David. Who did? Me. Kath. 
It's gonna be okay. Come on, I'll get Sam. You've heard everything I know at least four times. Why didn't you tell Detective Braden about your separation because from your Because I didn't think it was any of his business. So you deliberately misled him? Do you really think that? This is Proctor. You threatened your husband before he left. I what? You said you wanted him out of your life. What are you talking about? Oh. Oh, that. You've been talking to Mrs. Graham next door, haven't you? Knife that killed him? No prints, except yours. I bananas with that knife. That's all. I didn't say that. How do you think I managed it? Huh? I leave Claudia's, nip over to my apartment, kill David, and slip back in time for bed. Or was he waiting there for me to do it to him this Mrs. morning? Mrs. Proctor, in the last 24 hours, you've witnessed a murder we on the street. We didn't actually see it. A complete stranger tried to remove your child from I know school. That... Your apartment's been pretty much ransacked. And I know... And your husband was murdered. This is not exactly a run-of-the-mill day for a housewife. I am not a housewife. I'm a professional author and illustrator. I'd appreciate it if you remain in this city until this thing is resolved. What? You weren't planning on going anywhere, were you? Yes, actually, I wanted to get my son out of here. We'd prefer it if you'd stay. It'll probably be just a matter of days. You can't really think I did this. I'm Detective Janice Martindale. Uh, hello. She has a badge and everything. Well, neat. Let me know if you need anything, Mrs. Proctor. Otherwise, pretend I'm not even here. Sure. She's not here to protect us. She's here to keep an eye on me. Kathy, don't get paranoid. I'm a suspect. No kidding. I didn't do it. I know that. And I don't know who did or why, but I know he's desperate. Kathy. He is. He killed David, for starters. Oh, with friends like David. We practically saw him murder somebody on the street. He completely destroyed Sam's room. This man is no day at the beach. Kathy, maybe it's not the same person who did all these things. Claudia, whose side are you on, anyway? Or maybe it is. We're in danger. I just know it. Look, are you going to tell Sam about David? No. Not yet. I don't want to scare him. I've got to get him out of here. Will you help me, Shh. Claudia? Will Who's up for a little game of Monopoly? Uh, play money or real? Uh, I wouldn't miss this for the world. I know the police are involved. I guarantee I'll have it within 24 hours. It's not the apartment. The kid still has it. Well, don't worry. I'll do whatever I have to do. Claudia Browning will be picking Sam up early today. Fine. Mrs. Proctor? Shall I stay with Sam? No. No, I think the school has the idea now. I have to go to my apartment and pick up some things. Do you want to come with me? Sure. Great. You can keep an eye on me in case I try to pocket a clue, right?
Claudia is picking him up today, actually. How come? Is this official or personal? Which would you prefer? I haven't done anything wrong. Would you wait here, Mrs. Proctor and I, are going for a walk? Why don't you go upstairs, make yourself at home? I'm sure Claudia won't mind. Take a bath. Watch TV. And fix the cards for tonight's Monopoly game. with Claudia. Where's Claudia? I don't want to talk about it. Kathy, where's Claudia taking Sam? I won't tell you. You know, this is no time for games. You're damn right. Sam's in danger and I'm getting him out of here. I don't understand. You have police protection. Or a very close shadow. You know, I've noticed that the muscle-bound person who was assigned to protect me and Sam is spending a lot more time watching me. So I'm watching out for Sam. You don't have the Winnie the Pooh tapes? No. Oh, I'm going to have to get them for you. I have the Spider-Man Adventure tape. Are we there yet? No. So when is Claudia coming home? Never. Grow up, will you? Hey. I am not trying to trap you. I'm just trying to find out how are you going to spend the next few days. That's all. If Claudia's around, it's going to make it a whole lot easier. By the way, when are you due? In three weeks. Sam on time? I'm not with the CIA. He was a week early. Really? What? What's the matter? Are you going to cry? Don't... What's the matter? Are you kidding? My life is in absolute chaos. But I can't figure out why horrible things keep happening to people I love. Are you still alive? 
I think I found the right to cry, Detective Brayden. Richard. <laughs> Richard, besides, I'm pregnant. My boobs are supposed to swing. So, uh, exactly how long were you married? <laughs> you were so obvious. You want to distract me, don't you? I'm not doing that bad. You stopped crying, haven't you? <laughs> so I am. Do you really want to know about David? for six years. He hadn't been around much lately. I married him because he was so pretty. I don't know why I was surprised when he turned out to be vain. He wanted to be a movie star. But he couldn't act. I told him so. <laughs> Guess I shouldn't have. Kathy, do you want to go stand now? I don't think it's a very good idea for you to go back to your apartment. I'm hungry. And I live about two blocks away. Where's Mom? Mommy's home, but soon we'll see Nana. Who's Nana? Your grandmother. Your mommy's mommy. Your Grammy. Good deal. Martindale here. Hi, it's Detective Braden. Yeah, I just wanted to tell you that I'll be taking responsibility for Mrs. Proctor and Sam. Okay, fine. I'll catch up with her later then. Sam is going to my mother's house. Up north. I'm exhausted. I better go. I'll walk you. Why? Well, you can call it old-fashioned, but I don't like to send my dates home. Or my witnesses as suspects, let alone a beautiful pregnant woman. What do you usually do with them? Suspects and witnesses, I usually call a squad car. Dates, I ask to stay over. I don't know what to do with a pregnant woman. I, uh, this is my first time. Oh. <laughs> Would you like to? What? Stay over. Of course not. Oh, no. I I didn't mean that. That wasn't a proposition. I was just going to offer you the sofa bed here. Oh, oh of course. That's what I thought. Uh, okay, I'll take the sofa. You can have the comfortable bed. Give Sam a big kiss for me, will you, Claudia? Yeah. Yeah, you can give my mom a kiss for me, too. Don't let her keep you up all night talking. Oh, great. My high school yearbook? It's a good thing you're leaving in the morning or she'd drag out my Girl Scout badges. <laughs> Claudia. Thank you. Good night. I brought you a warm glass of milk. I hate milk. Well, in your condition, you need calcium on a regular basis. Drink up. Thank you. 
I could draw the curtains no. if you want. Thank you. Um, scared of the dark. <laughs> good night. Good, good night. Oh. What? What's wrong? <laughs> Baby's awake. Kick me. Want to feel it? Uh, can I? Good morning. You smell like a hamster. <laughs> oh, my. This is a lovely item. It's my special stamp. Maybe we can find you a fresh one later on. No. <laughs> you sure you can't stay and see Kathy's Girl Scout badges? Maybe next time. Good boy now. Mm -hmm. Bye, buddy boy. Bye. 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 Thank you for your help, Mrs. Browning. Ms. Browning. Whatever. You can come in now, Mrs. Proctor. Sit down. I feel very bad about Detective Martindale. We do, too. She was a good man, and she was there to protect you. I know. I can't tell you how sorry I am. I want an explanation. Where did you, in fact, spend the night? Where is your son? This is a serious situation. You don't seem to grasp that. We assigned someone to protect you, and that person is dead. And you weren't even around to be protected. Now, I want you to answer me. Where were you? Actually, Lieutenant. I can't tell you. Can't? Mrs. Proctor, you keep saying you're not a suspect in this case, but you won't answer the questions. You are aware that withholding evidence from the police... I can't remember where I was. What? Actually, I can't remember Proctor. anything from the time I found my husband's body until I arrived at Claudia's apartment this morning. Am I to understand that you're telling me you're a victim of amnesia? Amnesia, yes. I seem to have forgotten the word for the moment. It must be the enormous hormonal changes in my body. You know the baby. Hmm. Well, I don't believe there's any proven correlation between amnesia and pregnancy, Mrs. Proctor. You seem to have no trouble recognizing your friend, Ms. Browning, when she left the room. Well, maybe the balance has been restored. Mrs. Proctor, two people have been killed. Are you going to arrest me for murder? Because that's what you think, isn't it? I'm much more tempted to arrest you for obstruction of justice. Can I go now? Yes but I'd advise you to think very clearly about what I just said.
Why don't you go after her? See if you can get anything more. Yes, sir. Kathy? Kathy? Oh. Thank you very much for covering for me, Matthews. Get away from him. Uh. You believe me, don't you? I mean, it's obvious, isn't it? Whoever killed Martindale killed David as well. But why? I wish I knew. And how are you and Sam connected to all this? Richard, you're the detective. Some complications. I'm having a little trouble getting my hands on the merchandise. We're getting impatient. We expect delivery tomorrow. No more excuses. It's easy, I like it. And it also happens to be part of my job. Richard, I may not have any right to ask this, but uh, do you have a personal life? Sure, of course I do. Just not right now. Oh, you have a girlfriend? Sort of. She's away, out of town or something? Yes, way out of town. Actually, she's gone. For good, I'm afraid. You want to talk about it? Actually, no, I'd that, rather not. That's not fair. I've told you everything about me. Well, it was part of my job to ask you. Besides, you left out some pretty vital information. Well, in the beginning, but now you know almost everything about my personal life. I know absolutely zero about yours. Surely left me. Surely. If I'm going to tell you about this stuff, and you can't make judgments, okay? Sorry. Surely left me exactly five months and two days ago. We had been together for about a year and a half. Well, that long. But you're not the role model of a successful relationship okay. either, oh, nor are okay. you? Oh, okay. Was it that she couldn't take the pressure of a police officer's life? No, she was a cop, too. We met on the beat. How romantic. That's what it was. It was also pretty frantic, exciting. I think that that, that was the whole basis of our relationship. Because when we were promoted to detective, everything began to deteriorate. I think she missed the danger. She must have. She left me for a fireman. Really? No. She just decided to take a long walk. I thought it was boring. You? Boring? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. You think so? Yeah. Uh. So. So? Where are you going to go to now? I haven't the faintest idea. Where do you think I'd be safe? Sam, are you being a good boy? You have to be. There's nothing to do here. Well, why don't you go upstairs and brush your teeth? Did you brush your teeth yet? What teeth? Sam, why don't you brush them again, just to be sure? OK, got to go now. I love you. You tell Grammy I called. OK. Everything all right? Yeah, Sam's fine. My mother seems to be nursing some malady. She ill? No, she just likes to think she is. <laughs> Gives her something to talk about. So, how do you like your lamb chops? Are you getting overtime for this? Hello, this is Mr. James from the Party Time Dance Studios. This is Sam from the Mother Goose Day School. Oh, hello, Sam. Is your grandmother there? She just won a free dance lesson. She doesn't dance. She's too old.
wake up. Uh, wake up. Oh, no. Gas! The baby! No, 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 it's not the baby. It's the typewriter. The what? My typewriter. Hmm. No, Richard, don't go back to bed. Please, don't go back to sleep, please. No, 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 we have to go to my apartment. The typewriter, it's, imp it's important. When I was calling the police, I found David. I was right here. I remember I turned off the typewriter, but I never leave it on. I mean, whenever I'm finished, I always turn it off. It's a habit. So someone else must have used the typewriter and left yes, it on? Yes, yes. Who's going to stop to dash off a note at the scene of the crime? I don't know. Maybe it was David. Do you know? Do you know? David, Before right. Maybe that could be. find out whatever he typed will still be stored in here. Who's Dr. Miller? Sam's pediatrician. What? Oh, oh no. No. He took the names and numbers of everybody, anybody who might have Sam. Come out, come out. I'm am being calm, damn it. Mom. Mom, are you awake? Is Sam all right? Yes, Mom, I, I know it's early. I'm sorry about your insomnia. Listen, this is very important. Listen to me carefully. Have you had any telephone calls in the last two days that involved giving out your name and address? Nothing at all. Are you sure? And what did you tell him? Listen, I'm coming up there. Don't let anyone in the house. No strangers. Promise? Promise! Give Sam a hug for me. She got a call from the Party Time Dance Studios. We'd better hurry. Hey, wait a minute. What did she say? Um, she said she didn't want the free dance lesson. He said she won a prize anyway. And where should he send it? And she told him. This is my car. I'm with the police department. You're going to hook it now. My name is Detective Braden. I'm with the 15th Precinct. I don't care if it's Santa Claus herself. Your vehicle's illegally parked. Oh, Richard, what are we going to okay, do? Okay, relax, relax, all right? Look, I will take full responsibility for this. You're going to hook the car. Terrific. You can pick it up later at the municipal lot. <laughs> Richard, you can't okay. let him stop okay, us. Okay, okay, okay. I really hate to do this. record time. Well, I don't worry about tickets that much. Hang a left there.
Oh, great. This is completely typical. My mother takes Sam on a social call. What? Who's Mary? I don't have the faintest idea. Kathy? Stay here for a second. Let me just look around. Nobody home. Oh, God. Thanks. You look awful. Thank you. You all right? I will be as soon as I see Sam. I better call Claudia. Claudia, is that you? What's happening? Where are you? I'm at my mother's. I'll explain everything later. Now, listen, we left the driver of a tow truck out cold in the street. Yeah, that's what you think. Oh, no. The police found out? Uh-huh. Are they really mad at us? Oh, yes, they are. In that case, I think I'll say so long. Oh. Kathy? I'm Nan, Kathy's mother, and you must be... I'm Richard Braden. I'm Kathy's friend. Ah. <laughs> hey! Oh, <laughs> Mom! Oh, my. Aren't we right? <laughs> Don't you have another three weeks to go? It feels like about another ten minutes. <laughs> Come here, Sammy. I'm Sam. Come here, you. Oh. <laughs> You're getting too big for your mother to carry. Actually, his mother's getting too big to carry him. Come on, let's go and carry. So how you doing, champ? That's good. Just what he needs, Richard. Oops. Guy talk. <laughs> Can you bring the cat? What cat? We're getting a cat even though my daddy hates cats. Why don't you take Richard upstairs and show him your room, sweetheart? Shit, that would be great. Okay, let's go check it out. You haven't told Sam about David? I haven't had a chance. So much going on. Well, who's this young man, Richard? This young man happens to be a detective. He's also a wonderful person who risked his job for me. Doesn't this bolt work? Oh, here, let me... complicated. I'm sort of a suspect in David's death. That's ridiculous. You can't even look at dead goldfish. And the person who actually did it tried to kidnap Sam, murdered a detective, and whoever called you about the dance lesson is probably him. I suppose this means I don't get the free prize. Mother, we happen to be talking about a killer. Then why are we dawdling? Do something. Uh, call the police. The police are here. Richard is the police. He'll protect us. Well, we can't be too cautious. You check the back door, I'll lock the rest of the windows. Sweetheart. Yeah? You want to talk about David? No, not really. Must have been a terrible shock for you. No, I mean losing him in such a violent way. That's not really the way I lost him. He was going to divorce me. Well, I'm not surprised. You're not? He was never really married to you, was he? What? Except in the very beginning, I mean. You know, I'm the one who should have been a suspect in David's murder. 
I could have killed him so many times. Mother! Well, he was a terrible person. Treated you like a dirty dish rag. I could never have put up with it. I would have killed him a long time well, I ago. I didn't kill him. I know you did. I just wonder how you could manage not to, that's all. You're much too nice. Your father's jeans. <laughs> good morning, little piglet, said Eeyore. If it is a good morning, he said, which I doubt, said he. Not that it matters, he said. Hey. What's this? This is your stamp. Hmm, it certainly is. I've never seen anything quite like that. Where'd you get it? I found it. Really, where? No, oh, Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> okay. Why didn't you say anything before? And why didn't you tell me how you felt about David? But you didn't ask. But I never stopped. Look, Kathy, it is my fondest wish that this next child of yours is a girl. It is my second fondest wish that she grows up to be just as stubborn as you are and as lovable. And I hope someday she falls in love and you try to tell her your feelings, try to give her your thoughts on the subject. Then I think you will understand the utter futility of giving your daughter advice of any kind. Okay? okay. <laughs> oh. oh. Mommy! Oh, it's okay, Sam. It's only thunder. Sam, listen to the old man's story. Oh. Okay, uh, it's okay, everybody, just stay calm. That's easy for you to say. It started. The baby's coming. Maybe you could boil water or something. Put Sam to bed. Oh, oh, of course. Oh, you please tell me the minute I have a brother or sister. Honey, you'll be the second or third person to know, I promise. Why is it that in a crisis, victims are always the most level-headed? I... Richard? Mm-hmm. I know this sounds dumb, but in your police training or on the beat, you haven't by any chance delivered a baby. I'm sorry I haven't. I watched twice. Great. There are a couple of things you should know. My mother faints at the sight of blood. I had an incredibly short labor with Sam, and the second baby is usually faster. Huh. Much better. Better. Okay. Better. 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 The doctor's on this. Oh, you oh, genius. How did you do doctor, it? Great. Now I can tell you, I didn't even know what the boiling water was for. <laughs> I, I remember that a doctor just bought the farm up the road, uh, Dr. Jacobs. A doctor on a farm? Well, oh. uh, country doctors go to medical it's school, too, you Dr. know. Dr. Jacobs, he is an obstetrician, isn't he? Not exactly. Mother. He's a, he's a veterinarian, so what? A vet! But what's the problem? They know the basics. Treats pigs and horses. Are they so different? Don't be such a oh, snob. This is great, just great. Relax, Kathy. I'm quite sure that he's really good at this kind of thing. The man has been in practice for over 20 years. Hey, listen, even if he's just okay, he's got to be better than me, right? Hello. Oh, Claudia, it's you. Hi. Hey. Kathy, I've been waiting for your call. That scene with the police was incredible. I'm in the middle of labor. The baby is coming. No. No, that's not fair. I wasn't supposed to be here for another three weeks. Well, you know that, and I know that, but the baby can't count. But we were supposed to be doing this together. I, that little twerp is going to ruin everything, Kat. This was going to be our baby. Oh, I know you wanted to be with me, and I'll always think of you as my birthing partner. Oh! Oh! oh. Breathe, breathe, Kathy, breathe. I am breathing, damn it! Kat? Kathy? Claudia. Claudia. I think the line is dead. Terrific. 
I, I need to speak to uh, Lieutenant Daly, please. I'm going to need you to sterilize your sharpest knife. I want you to get some string and some twine, anything that we can use to tie the cord. Uh, sheets. Sheets. And, and sheets. I only have designer sheets. Towels, then. Anything, all right? Yes. Hey. A couple of minutes. Oh. Here, here, here's some towels. Good. And Richard, here, Good. you, you take a look at this, cause I can't, I can't make any sense out of it. I, yeah. I just uh, go. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I, I'll just, I'll just go uh, see about the water. She's not gonna be much help, is she? No. <laughs> <laughs> My mother thinks a birth more as a horror show than a mystery. It's probably why I'm an only child. help here. Uh, oh. Disinfectant, Dis boiling water, yep. scissors. Mommy! Uh, not now, Sam. That's him! That's him, man. Find the pressure, please. Take him to bed. Good time, big boy. Let's go, now. Good luck, Doc. There's a bathroom straight down the hall on your right. Oh, the water! Excuse me. The water. Okay. You stop that. I'm sleepy. Okay. Don't let the man in the fun doors hurt the baby. Yeah, he just seemed a little anxious. What? Something about the man in the fun doors. But he shouldn't hurt the baby. Richard. Mm -hmm. Richard. The man in the fun doors. He's here. It's him. No! Richard, what's going on? Richard, where is Sam? 
gonna have to clean up this mess. I can feel the baby. It's almost here. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, let's not panic. Richard, I'm perfectly calm. I am in enormous pain, but I'm almost serene. You know, in primitive countries, women, they go out into fields Richard, and they deliver Richard, forget the rock. it. Okay, just, just making conversation. Oh, good. Oh. That's uh, Thank you. Oh. Kathy. What is it now, Richard? Will you marry me? Push. Push. I am Push. pushing. Push. Oh, Whoa. hit the head. Hit the head. Oh, look. Look. Push. Shoulders. Oh, look. Oh, he or she is almost here. Oh, oh here we go. Look. Look. That's a girl. Oh, oh, oh Richard. You have an adorable baby sister. Isn't that nice? Not as nice as a cat. <laughs> She's amazing. Huh? You did good. You too. Next time we have sex first, then the baby. Now, this must be the real Dr. Jacobs. You're late. I hope you've got a good excuse. An accident. My car skidded and I hit a telephone pole. Oh, well, don't apologize. The phone was dead already. Are you badly hurt? If I'm not dead yet, I'll survive. Oh, thank goodness. Oh my, oh, my. That's terrible. I better get you a glass of water. So, you live all alone on this great big farm? Which is a high-class carrier. Ex-military man who went over the fence. This time he was supposed to transfer data and a component for the MX missile. But he slipped up. No delivery. Wait a minute, what delivery? What are you talking about? He's a specialist in microphotography. They must have lost the plans. So Wix must have thought that Kathy was mixed up in this, that somehow she got hold of the merchandise? <laughs> or the kid was some kind of master spy. <laughs> microphotography. Hold on, Lieutenant. I'll be right back. Excuse me. <laughs> How you doing? Sam, can I see the back of your hand? The other one. Boy, that is some stamp you got there. Well, it's very valuable. Oh, yes, I know. Can I have it, Sam? Well, uh, what do you trade me for? Trade. How about this? Wow. You got cheated. Mom. What? Can we go home now? 
Not now, but soon, honey. Good. Can he come too? He better. Well, Sam, what do you think of your new baby sister? She looks like a meatball. <laughs> <laughs>